the final part of question 8 into 2014 during three and in this question we are asked to sketch the graph of y equals 18 plus 7x minus x squared on the axis below indicate clearly the values where the graph crosses the x and y axis okay so in this question here we're kind of we're going to use what we learned as the last question in order okay to solve this problem so first of all we see it's a quadratic curve so it's going to either open upwards or open downwards either be a smiley face or a frowny face now if the coefficient of x squared the number multiplying by x squared is negative it's going to be a frowny face so this is going to be a fan. It's going to open downwards. It's going to look like have this type of shape. Okay? So it's not going to be a smiley face. If it's positive in front of the x squared, smiley face. If it's negative, frowny face. Okay? It's kind of like close to it. Anyway, indicate clearly the values where the graph crosses the x and y axis. So that's the, one of the first steps is to find out where it crosses the x axis and the y axis. Now we know that when the y, on the y-axis, x is 0, we just learn. On the x-axis, y is 0. So that will help us to, count, to find those places. So it will cross the y-axis when x is 0. So when x is 0, we have y equals 18 plus 7 times 0 minus 0 squared, which gives us 18. That means it crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 18. That's where it will cross the y axis. I won't put it so high up. It's just a sketch, it doesn't have to be accurate. Okay, and when y equals 0, it's where it crosses the x axis. So you have 18 plus 7x minus x squared equals 0. To solve this problem, we need to factorize. Now, as this is an equation, I need to find the values where x. With, with values of x for which this is true. As an equation, I can manipulate it so it makes it easier for me. I don't want to have a minus in front of x squared. Okay. Um, I prefer to have positive in front of x squared. It just makes it a bit easier to factorize. So what I could do is I could multiply both sides of the equation by minus 1, and it won't change the equation. I'll we'll keep the equation the same. So I'm doing the same thing for both sides. So I'll have x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0. 0 times minus 1 is still 0. And then I can solve by factorizing. This time now, and it's a simple type of factorizing, you have 1 in front of x squared, so you're going to have an x here and an x here, we know that for sure. We're also going to have a positive and a negative, because a negative product. Okay, so we have two numbers, when we multiply them together, we get negative 18, and we add them together, we get negative 7. Now, think of all the ways of getting 18. We've got 18 times 1. We've got 9 times 2. There we go. 9 times 2, we get to 7. So I know I'm going to have 9 and 2 is 8 is about that's negative sum. So the 9 must be with the negative number, and the 2 must be the positive number. 2 minus 9 is plus 7. <coughs> OK. So now we can say either, let's carry on over here, either x plus 2 is equal to 0, or x minus 9 is equal to 0, in which case x is equal to negative 2, and x is equal to positive 9. So I know it's going to cross the x-axis at minus 2, and the y-axis at 9. Okay, so that's enough information now for me to work out where it's going to um, cross the axis. If I want to be even more precise, I can try to work out where the vertex is going to be. The vertex is going to be somewhere in this area, which is halfway between these two, the line of symmetry. So minus 2 plus 9 gives me 7, divided by 2 gives me 3.5. So I know something actually put these numbers in afterwards. Just on the 
Okay. So that's basically the graph of y equals 18 plus 7x minus x. And now some people might ask, ah, oh, but you multiplied by minus 1, and this, this graph of y equals x squared minus 7x minus 18 will not be the same as this. So how can you use you know, these values? Well, I found the values where they crossed the y-axis, the x-axis, when y was 0. Okay? And where this graph, the y equals x squared minus 7x minus 18, it will also cross the x-axis in the same two places. It will just be minus. Okay, so it doesn't make any difference whether I kept the equation like this or I made it like this. The values of x I get for where it crosses the x, x-axis will be exactly the same. Okay? All right? So I'm solving this equation. And manipulate it subtract by adding, by multiplying by minus 1 both sides, just to make my factorizing easy. That's perfectly fine. So just make sure, indicate clearly the values where the graph of x and y axis. So we've done that. If you want to be extra careful, you can put those as coordinates, prime 0, minus 2, 0, and 0, 18. Okay? And there we have our sketch of 